ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமகா குட் மார்னிங் சில்ட்ரன் ஹவ் ஐ யூ ஆல் ஐ வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் டு திஸ் பார்ட் ஃபோர் வீடியோ ஆஃப் சாப்டர் ஃபோர் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆஃப் ஆட்டம் இன் லாஸ்ட் செஷன்ஸ் வி ஹாவ் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் சம் மாடல்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஆட்டம் லைக் Thomson's model of atom, Rutherford's uh, model of atom and Bohr's model of atom. Okay. In this session, we are going to discuss the arrangement of electrons in the atoms. Distribution of electrons or we can say it is electronic configuration of elements the arrangement of electrons in the various shells or energy levels of an atom of the element is known as electronic configuration of the element in other words electronic configuration is the distribution of electrons in various shells or energy levels of an atom such as k shell l shell m shell etc in order to write down the electronic configuration of an element we should know two things we should know the number of electrons in one atom of the element we should know the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in different shells of an atom of electrons in an atom of the element is given by the atomic number of the element because the number of electrons in an atom of the element is equal to the atomic number of the element for example if the atomic number of an element is 12 then its atom contains 12 electrons number of electrons which can be put in a particular energy level or shell was given by bohr and berry electrons are negatively charged so they form a cloud of negative charges out, outside the nucleus in this cloud the electrons are arranged according to their potential energy in different energy levels or shells the energy levels of the at electrons are denoted by the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 whereas shells are represented by the letters k l m n o p so first energy level is k shell second energy level is l shell so like that and so on this scheme the maximum number of electrons which can be accommodated in any energy level of the atom is given by 2 n square where n is the number of that energy level let us calculate the maximum number of electrons which can be put in the first four energy levels of an atom so for the first energy level that is n is equal to 1 so formula we know that the maximum number of electrons in the first energy level formula is 2 n square so n is equal to 1 so n square means 1 square is equal to 1 so 2 into 1 is equal to 2 so in fir- first energy level the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated is 2 so like that for uh, second energy level that is l shell uh, the same formula 2 n square but here n is equal to 2 so n square is equal to 2 square so 2 n square 2 into 2 square so 2 into 4 is equal to 8 so 8 electrons can be accommodated in the second energy level so for third energy level n is equal to 
3 so 2 n square so the same formula so n square is equal to 3 square it is 9 so 2 into 9 is equal to 18 okay so for fourth energy level 4 n is equal to 4 so uh, 2 n square 2 into 4 square 4 square is 16 2 into 16 is equal to 32 thus the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in the first level energy level is 2 for a second energy level is 8 uh, for third energy level is 18 and fourth energy level is 32 now the first energy level is called k shell the ener second energy level is called l shell the third energy level is called m shell and fourth one is called as n shell so we can also say that the maximum number of electrons which can be accommodated in k shell is 2 and l shell is 8 and m shell is 18 and n shell is 32 So, according to the Bohr's scheme, the outermost shell of an atom cannot accommodate more than 8 electrons. Even it is uh, its capacity to accommodate more electrons. If however, the outermost shell of an atom is the first shell or K shell, then it cannot accommodate more than 2 electrons. This means that normally the outermost shell of an atom can take a maximum 8 electrons only. For example, if M shell is the outermost shell of an atom, then it can hold the maximum 8 electrons only. Though its maximum rated capacity is 18 electrons. This is due to the fact that having 8 electrons in the outermost shell makes the atoms very stable. If however, the outermost shell is the first shell or K shell, then it can hold a maximum 2 electrons only. This is because having 2 electrons in the outermost shell when it is first shell or K shell also makes the atom very stable. This happens in the case of helium element which has only one shell that is K shell in its atom. So, look at this atom of helium, the atomic number of helium is 2. So, it uh, it's represents it is having the 2 electrons, the maximum number of electrons uh, present in K shell that is first orbit is 2 only. So, the two electrons are present in the first shell that is K shell itself. Electrons in an atom do not occupy a new shell unless all the inner shells are completely filled with electrons. This means that the electron shells in an atom are filled in a stepwise manner. First of all, all the electrons fill in K shell, then L shell, M shell, N shell and so on, higher classes. So, look at this lithium atom. So, atomic number of lithium is 3, so it has 3 electrons. So, as we know that K shell has the maximum capacity of capacity to accommodate 2 electrons only. Okay. So, first two electrons will accommodate in K shell and the third one is present in the L shell. So, its electronic configuration is 2 comma 1. So, how many uh, shells are required to fulfill this uh, um, electrons to accommodate 2, okay, K shell and L shell. Yeah. An atom, its atomic number is 17, so 17 electrons are present, so its uh, electronic configuration is 2 comma 8 comma 7. So, 2 electrons are present in the K shell, first shell and uh, 8 electrons occupied in the L shell and uh, uh, 7 electrons are present in the M shell that is outermost shell. So, totally 3 shells are required for 
chlorine atom. To learn about valency and valence electrons. The outermost electron shell of an atom is known as valence shell. The electrons present in the outermost shell of an atom are known as valence electrons or valency electrons because they decide the valency that is combining capacity of the atom. So, only the valence electrons of an atom takes part in the chemical reactions because they have more energy than all the inner electrons of the atom. So, we will take this uh, sodium atom as uh, example in this case. The atomic number of uh, sodium is 11. So, which means that uh, one sodium atom has 11 electrons. So, uh, what about the electronic configuration of that uh, sodium atom? It is having 2 comma 8 comma 1, is it it? So, the electrons are occupied or accommodated in the K, L and M shells. 2 electrons in the K shell, 8 electrons in the L shell and only 1 electron in the M shell. So, M shell is the outermost shell or we can say that it is valence shell. So, there is 1 electron in the outermost shell of the sodium atom. Therefore, sodium atom has one valence electron. Understood children? So, when um, sodium atom combines with other atoms, only it is one valence electron that is which is present in the M shell takes part in the chemical reactions. The electrons of two inner shells that is K shell and the L shell of the sodium atom never take part in the chemical reactions. We can now say that those electrons of an atom which take part in the chemical reactions are called valence electrons. So, valence electrons are located in the outermost shell of an atom. Yes. Relation between valency and valence electrons. The valency of an element depends on the number of valence electrons in its atom because only the valence electrons takes part in the chemical bonding. The valency of an element is either equal to the number of valence electrons in its atom or equal to the number of electrons required to complete 8 electrons in the valence shell. For example, sodium has 1 valence electron and its valency also 1. So, in the case of sodium, the valency is equal to the number of valence electrons in its atom. So, in general, the valency of a metal is equal to the number of valence electrons in its atom. So, that is valency of a metal is equal to number of valence electrons in its atom. So, now we can take the chlorine. Chlorine's atomic number is 17. So, it has 7 valence electrons in its outermost shell. So, its valency is not a 7 ok. So, chlorine atom it is required one more electron to complete its 8 electron structure. So, the valency of chlorine is also 1 thus in the case of chlorine valency is equal to the number of electrons required to complete 8 electrons in the valence shell. In general the valency of a non-metal element is usually equal to 8 minus the number of valence electrons in this atom that is valency of a non-metal is equal to 8 minus number of valence electrons in its atom. There is one exception to this rule and that is valency of hydrogen. The valency of hydrogen is equal to the number of valence electrons which is 1. So, valency, electrovalency and covalency. Electrovalency. In the formation of an electrovalent compound or we can say that ionic compounds, the number of electrons lost or gained by one atom of an element to achieve the nearest inert gas electronic configuration is known as its electrovalency. The elements which lose electrons form positive ions, so they have positive electrovalency. The elements which gain electrons 
form negative ions, so they have negative electrovalency. So, example valency of sodium we can take again the atomic number of sodium is 11, electronic configuration is 2 comma 8 comma 1, so it has 1 electron in its outermost shell. So, sodium atom can lose this electron to form a sodium ion any plus cation having an inert gas electronic arrangement of 2 comma 8. Since a sodium atom loses one electron to achieve the inert gas electronic configuration therefore, the valency of sodium is 1 or 1 plus. The atomic number of potassium is 19 and its valency is also 1. Similarly, the atomic number of lithium is 3 and its valency also 1. Second type is covalency. In the formation of covalent compounds or molecular compounds, the number of electrons shared by one atom of an element to achieve the nearest inert gas electronic configuration is known as covalency. If an atom shares one electron, its covalency will be 1. If it shares 2 electrons, then its valency will be 2 and so on. Chlorine atom for this example of covalency. A chlorine atom has 7 electrons in its outermost shell because its uh, atomic number is 17, its uh, electronic configuration is 2 comma 8 comma 7. So, it can share its one electron with one electron of another atom to achieve the 8 electron to inert gas con electronic configuration. Since one chlorine atom shares one electron to achieve the nearest inert gas electronic arrangement therefore, the covalency of chlorine is 1. For example, in the formation of chlorine molecule that is Cl2, each chlorine atom shares its one electron with the other atom. So, the valency of chlorine is Cl, chlorine Cl2 molecule is 1. learnt about the electronic configuration and distribution of electrons in the shells. We will meet in the next uh, video children. Thank you.